It's me, the Ginger Snap. I have some very, very sad news. The hero, the junkyard truck, the beast, Casper, unfortunately, has lifted a head, and the head gasket is blown. But before I go tearing the engine all apart and disassembling it, draining coolant and fluids, I decided, well, why not take a look at this whole intercooler thing? I promised you guys we were going to try to do some testing. Obviously, the engine had another idea. The engine was put under a tremendous amount of stress during King of the Street between drag racing and sled pulling, and then unfortunately, one of our good friends was in an accident with a trailer jackknife. His totaled truck ended up on the trailer, and we used Casper to get it out of a valley that was, well, way down below. So it was a hill that was roughly 1,200 foot long by between six and eight percent grade, which any of you that knows what a hill is, it's pretty damn steep. Um, I had it to the floor in first gear doing 15 to 20 mile an hour with the pyrometer pegged at 1600 degrees and the boost gauge was bouncing off 35 psi max pin and we still managed to drive another 500 miles before that gas gets popped. So realistically I'm not terribly upset but at the same time it's a little setback for our testing. Um, if you can see here we are working on our new upper intake setup so intake boot Plumbing down to intercooler. Same thing on this side. I've got the turbo snail clocked. We've got our new charge pipe going over here. Air intake is the same old, same old. It's been in there for quite some time. Um, let's see if we can pull my grill back off here real quick. So I was afraid that this stuff wasn't going to fit because it's rather tight. Um, that said, Casper doesn't have air conditioning anymore because the compressor was tragically lost in an accident long before I bought the truck from the junkyard. So, okay, we're going to take the grill out of this thing. Say hello to Casper's face, everybody. Hi, Casper's face. It's out. And it is getting moved. Okay, so, as you can see, the intercooler is stuck here. Hot side charge pipe cold side charge pipe. We have to get a three inch hole saw and punch through the core support and I have to build a bracket here to mount this and keep it square like I'd like it to. So for now, this is all mock-up. Transmission cooler, plenty of room. Hood latch, plenty of room to bolt it back to the base of the core support. Oil cooler, plenty of room to bolt it back to the core support. The only thing I'm having a problem with is this little guy, the power steering cooler. So I'm gonna do some checking out and see what I can do to actually tilt this sideways and mount it right along the bottom here. Um, as of right now, where the charge pipes lay, I can still put my turn signals in, all my wiring clears, my light housing clears, and I can bolt the grill right back into place. So nothing is really, for say, too much cutting. Two, three inch holes at the bottom is not gonna be that much. Um, the other thing is, is that we've got plenty of room in here I'm gonna get these on. Okay, so it's all the fun of mock up, leaving everything loose so you can get it out of the way. So you look down inside there and see kind of where the turret pipes are gonna go and that they'll protrude through the core support. We'll have a 90 degree boot here. Bonk. Obviously it's gonna go through, so it's gonna give us a little better angle. I've gotta figure out trajectory here on how this is gonna end up in there. And over here on our hot side, same kind of thing where we just have a pipe laying in place. And for right now, it's mocked so I can say, okay, 90 degree boot off intercooler through core support up to turb ski. And our Super 54 Billet 5 blade here, we'll get a nice new 90 degree boot put on him, and then we should be in business. So we're gonna do all the mock-up, get it all built, get everything bolted in place where we want it. And yes, unfortunately the truck has blown head gaskets, but this will give us an opportunity to get everything in. We're gonna know it's gonna fit. Turn signals will fit, all the ground wires. I'll be able to put both batteries back in it, both passenger and driver side. As you can see, I'm gonna use the 90 92, 93 windshield wiper bottle instead of a 99, 2000 to buy some room. And uh, yeah, 
this is going to be our little experiment this week as I try to really mount it up and then I will be working on pulling the heads off the engine next weekend into next week and we'll see what we can do to get this thing back on the road before December which 50-50 chance. It's either going to be yes we'll have it back on the road for December or it's going to be a big fat no which if that's the case then the engine will complete, completely come out and I'll check the mains, I'll check the crank and rods and as long as anything on the bottom end looks good and seems healthy then we'll go ahead and throw her back together put it back in and be ready for ODSS. So hope you guys like our little beginning of intercooler mock-up stage. It's not exactly orthodox right now. I have an itty bitty garage and we're making it work and uh, hopefully this will show some of you guys that yes, we can front mount them. Yes, it sucks that I don't have air conditioning to show you guys what the condenser takes up, but the air conditioning condenser only takes up about an inch and a half of core support space. So hypothetically, we could take the radiator, shift it forward and do the exact same mounting, doing the same thing here, just move your bolts forward. So hope you guys enjoy and uh, keep tabs on us because exciting things are gonna happen into the winter time. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.